Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. There are, there are basically two, two issues that, I want, that I, I want us to discuss uh, this evening. One is uh you know the um, uh the issue that is happening at parliament basically we are talking about uh you know mps you know um parliament has continued to be tense uh the situation today was not uh, any better um basically uh what happened was that um you know the the speaker has uh, changed the seating arrangement whereby uh you know the the new the new the so called new new leader of opposition uh and mao sampa are supposed to sit in front whilst the you know bran munduwile and kampiongo have been thrown at the back and this sitting arrangement was supposed to happen uh, today. Uh, so immediately the uh, uh, parliament uh, started, the speaker, you know, made this announcement to say members of parliament should go and sit, you know, according to the arrangement uh, uh, that they have made. Uh, of course, Bran Mundubile didn't move. Bran Mundubile and Kampiongo, they remained in front they stayed in front but what was interesting was that um, the the new the mao sampa leader of opposition the mao sampa leader of opposition uh, was not in the house and uh, he he was out, however he has indicated that he was going to speak and uh, he actually spoke uh, through zoom he spoke through zoom now, already there, it shows that, he, you know, there is cooperation. Mao Sampa and the current government, Mao Sampa and the government, there is cooperation like we have seen in many ways. It is not something that we can pretend that we don't know. No, we, we can't pretend that it is not there. Uh, even if we want to be praise singers, no, come on, unless we want to... to, to to fool ourselves, it is very clear that Mao Sampa is being supported by, by the government. And these things have been seen, the way the police are protecting him and the way they are being biased against the Edgar Lungu's uh, PF. Because now what we have, we have the Mao Sampa PF and we have the Edgar Lungu PF. And it is very clear that the government is siding with the Mao Sampa PF. And this is seen in the way the police are conducting themselves, in the way that the speaker is conducting herself. I mean, uh, one can want to pretend you can try to bring in this and that, but come on, we can see through this that there is an agenda, and that agenda is to make sure that uh, Mao Sampa succeeds in whatever they want to do. This is very clear. We can't pretend about it. And of course, one of these issues is whereby, you know, this new leader of opposition coming from Mao Sampa was allowed to debate through Zoom. I think due to the issue of, uh, you know, other MPs being hostile. Mao Sampa was brave. He was there and he did debate on the floor of the house. He asked a question to the, uh, the vice president. And he said, well, I'm back in front, you know, which, uh, where I was two years ago. Eh? But they, they shoved me back 
and now I'm back here. Les sawa won't say. Indeed, just like even a criminal, <laughs> after he breaks into your house, you, you are crying to say, oh, my katundu has been stolen. But the criminal will come out eating uh, your food or carrying your, your property and thanking God for that day that today I've managed to steal. Today I've managed to steal, I'm going to eat. That is the case of Mao Sampa. You know, Mao Sampa today was bubbling with confidence in France to say, Lesa wa wonse. In spite of how he has robbed PF, it doesn't matter. He's thanking God, just like a criminal who has stolen from a house, will go out and, you know, thank God for, for, for it. Now, so that was then the other one we, was the issue of uh, Nixon Chilangwa. But Nixon Chilangwa, to say no, he was absent from parliament, but of course, uh, it was handled well in the sense that but Nixon Chilango was actually in prison. He was in prison. So, uh, I mean, it, it, they, couldn't, they couldn't really blame him as much as he apologized and everything and whatever, whatever. But anyway, it was just procedural. It was just procedure that he had to apologize. Um, but really, I mean, we know the story. So that one, there is no issue. The issue now... Uh, came in with the the MPs. The MPs could not stay in Parliament because it's like they were being mocked. You know, they were being mocked and they stood up and left uh, left Parliament. And they went to protest. I have seen on social media that they went to the European Union. They went to the American Embassy uh, to protest over what is happening in Parliament. Then uh, this, ev this evening, I've seen now a proposed motion of impeachment. They want to impeach the, 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 the speaker. They want to impeach the speaker. 57 members of parliament have signed uh, on a motion to impeach the speaker. Now, I want to talk about two issues. The, I want to talk about this issue of, uh, you know, the... Uh, uh, the the MPs, you know, the MPs, and then the the impeachment. So I want to talk about this this conflict between the speaker and the MPs, and then I will talk about the the impeachment, the impeachment process to impeach the the, the speaker. But before I go there, I want to say that all this confusion, all this confusion that is happening. It is because, like I have said before, it is because of Va Edgar Lungu. Va Edgar Lungu is the one that has created a hero in Mao Sampa. Va Edgar Lungu is the one that has created a hero in Mao Sampa. If Va Edgar Lungu was not selfish to hold on to power, if Va Edgar Lungu was not selfish to uh, resist the conference, the general conference, this would not have happened. But because Valungu was holding on to power, he held on to power pretending he has resigned, and yet he wanted the presidency, which is why he couldn't allow the convention. And when he held on to power, he couldn't function as a president. If Valungu was functioning as a president, Mao Sampa wouldn't have acted in the manner that he did. He wouldn't have acted in the manner that he did. But Valungu, it's not 58. You, you, you check uh, at, the, at office, office 1. It's not 58. It's actually 57. I counted the, the names there. Anyway, so if Valungu, if Valungu was sincere, if Valungu was sincere, the problem that has been there, which is why I fell out with Valungu, is that Valungu was not sincere. This is the problem. And the insincerity, the selfishness of Valungu to hold on to power is what has brought us where we are. It is what has brought us to where we are. He was pretending that, no, I have resigned, and yet he held on to PF presidency. If he didn't hold on to PF presidency, he would have selected a secretary general to run the party as president. But he didn't do that. 
He, and, and, and at the same time, if he had really resigned, he would have taken PF to a convention and the new leader would have been chosen. But because of his selfishness, because of his desire to come back, he held on to this party and we are where we are. Going forward, there is no future for Valungu politically. Going forward, there is no future for Valungu politically. Because I want to tell you that even with what is happening, just that some members of parliament, they are not as courageous as Mao Sampa. Mao Sampa, in his craziness, there is something that you cannot take away from him. The cowardice that I was talking about to Valungu is what has... Is, is, is what has brought us here. Mao Sampa took advantage of that. Mao Sampa had the courage. He had the courage to take the bull by its horns. He had the courage to take on Valungu. Other MPs, other MPs were not happy as well. Other MPs, they were not happy as well. If you go back on this very platform, you will find a video where I was saying, even members of parliament are not for the idea of Alebuene Lapo. A number of MPs wanted a general conference. A number of MPs were happy with Mundubide taking over. This is a fact. This is a fact. And including other PF members, they were happy that Mundubide takes over. But they didn't have the courage that Mao Sampa has. They didn't have the courage that Mao Sampa had. They didn't have the courage to even tell Valungu to say, Valungu, come on, we want a general conference. They didn't have the they didn't have the courage. Even when I was talking here, a number of MPs, some of them I was talking to them, they were happy that, you know, a, I was talking about, you know, Valungu, you know, coming out or hold a, a general conference. They were tired. They were tired of, you know, the, 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 the uncertainty. They were tired. Because they were like, I mean, what is happening? I mean, are we going to have a conference? They were frustrated. But they didn't have the courage to speak. They didn't have the courage to speak. And I gave you an example here. I gave you an example to say, when they wanted to change, because... PF said, eh, no, eh, I've not given Lubinda and others. They said, no, we first need to change the constitution. But then they said, no, we don't have the money. And they constituted a committee to look into the finances, what was required. And this committee came up with the budget, the budget for the constitutional uh, conference to change the constitution and the budget for a general conference. And they said, we must start with a, with a constitutional conference. And the MPs, they said, these guys, they said, no, we don't have the money. What did MPs do? MPs contributed money to change the constitution because they wanted to do away with the constitution so that they can go to a general conference. And I told you here that members of parliament, all of them, including those who were who were, you know, uh, uh, deranged, they contributed, including one who has been chosen today as chief whip. Uh, Anthony Mumba has been chosen as chief whip. <laughs> that is a new chief whip, according to Mao Sampa. Uh, Kampiongo has been removed. Anton Mumba, Anton Mumba is the one that has been chosen as chief whip. And I didn't see him in parliament. I don't know if he was there, but I didn't see him. Anyway, the point is that members of parliament, to show that they wanted a conference, they actually contributed money. They contributed money to have a constitutional conference so that we can now go to the general conference. But money was contributed through Chabing, uh, through Antoine uh, Kane, uh, uh, that other one, I don't know, I've forgotten his name. But anyway, they never went. That constitutional conference never happened. It never happened. But whether you you, you don't like Chirufatayali, whether you don't want me, you don't want to hear what I'm saying, the fact is that 
that was an ev that was evidence enough that members of parliament wanted a general conference because if they didn't want a general conference they wouldn't have contributed money they contributed that money because they wanted that general conference and if they wanted that general conference they were just scared to speak if they were if they were to speak objectively if they were courageous they would have said it to save alungu we don't want you to come back we want we want to go for a general conference and choose another leader they would have said it they would have said it unfortunately they were not courageous it is that courage that they lacked which mao sampa had whereby mao sampa brutally came and 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 took over pf the way that he has done it i don't agree i don't agree it is unconstitutional that's for sure it is unconstitutional but he had the courage to rattle to shake the waters in pf and i'm sure even other members of parliament if they were as courageous as mouse they would have done it and it is for this reason that i'm actually saying that Mao Sampa has done it quite messy. Messy in the sense that it doesn't look good. It's really messy. But if Mao was actually clinical, was more strategic and everything, he would have done this much, much better. Why? Because it was not only him who was frustrated. There were other MPs. And Mao Sampa would have done well to engage even those who were frustrated even those who wanted to contest as, uh, as for presidency he would have done well he would have done this much much better than the way he, than the way he did it nonetheless it has happened and it has happened because of one person one person by Edgar Chagualungu and i used to say it here i used to say it here balungu mleo na ule chipani Valungu, PF is rotting in your hands. PF is getting extinct. I used to say it here. And you called me names. And look, what has happened? Valungu has come back. And, and you know, somebody was saying, no, Valungu hasn't said that he, he wants to come to be president. Come on. How long are you going to be fooled? How long are you going to be fooled? For what? I mean, you can't see for sure that really this man is interested in this you can't see how long are you going to be fooled you can be fooled me i'm not going to be fooled me i know that walungu balefu alebuli rapo agenda and unfortunately that alebuli rapo agenda he lacked basically two things two things that he lacked he lacked so he, he lacked the courage and he, he lacked uh, you know the generosity the resourcefulness that it, it required that alebo rapo agenda would have taken off it would have taken off if only valungu was courageous if only valungu was generous to fund the alebo rapo agenda political agendas don't just happen political agendas run with money this mao sampa you are seeing we, to run all these things that he has done, there is money involved. It, there is money involved. Those people that he hired to come and vote, they had to be paid. Those buses, they had to be paid. Mulungush conference had to be paid. There is a lot of money that was involved. Valungu did not want to bring out money on the Alewi Lapu agenda. Even as we are talking, now you are trying to salvage to salvage PF, Balungu is not releasing money. You will not go anywhere without money. You will not go anywhere. You need money. You can accuse me entirely. I'm realistic. I'm realistic. I'm telling you things as they are. So, whatever you are doing, whatever you are doing by PF, you need to realize that you must sober up you must sober up. You are too emotional. You are too emotional. And this is why we are having a mess at parliament. 
What you are doing there will not help. Being emotional will not help. Being emotional will not help, I can assure you. It will not help. You are not in power. I've, I told you before that the problem that you have a PF, you act as if you are in power. But you are no longer in power. You can't command anyone. And unfortunately, I have said it here again, to say politics precedes the law. Politics precedes the law. I've said it here before. And yourselves, you were in power. You acted the same way. It was politics first, then the law behind. You did that. You did that. I don't know why you are why you are thinking that UPND will do better. I don't know why you are thinking like that. When it is very clear that President Daka in the and his government, they want to, to do almost the, the same thing that you did. It is very clear. It is very clear. So why are you why are you why are you expecting so much? Why are you expecting so much? No, the democratic space is shrinking. I mean, what has UPND done which you didn't do? What has UPND done which you didn't do? Not that I'm accepting what UPND is doing. No, I'm not accepting it. A wrong is a wrong. Two wrongs don't make a right. But it is naive for those of you who were there, who did all these things, who did the bad things, to try and ex expect something better from UPND. You are wasting your time. You are wasting your time. So me, I'm not accepting with what UPND is doing. But I want to tell I, 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 I am also refusing for PF to act, you know, so much of, of victims as if themselves, they don't know what is happening. To be surprised about the same things that they did. What are you being surprised about, my PF? What are you being surprised about? Didn't you do the same thing that is happening? Didn't you do the same thing that is happening? Didn't you hand out Kambuidi out of parliament? Didn't you hand him out? You handed him out. Didn't you close down the Post newspaper? Arbitrarily, you closed down Post newspaper. Arbitrarily. Without any recourse to the law. Fred member was running from, from uh, the uh, revenue authority with an appeal to be heard. But you closed the post. You closed the post. Whilst the case was going on at the tribunal, even when you closed the post, whilst the case was going on in court, even when you, you auctioned the post, you sold the post, you sold it, you sold everything. Whilst the case was still going on in court. So how can you be surprised that UPND is doing the same, is liquidating PF in the same way that you liquidated the post? How can you be surprised? You did a lot of things that were wrong. You got in uh, Mutembo and Chito, put in muscles, what did Mtembo Nchito do? He didn't do anything. He didn't do anything. But you did it for PF. You locked him up. You locked him up. DPP. How can you today claim that no, there is no democracy. Democracy is shrinking. It is true. It is true democracy at the moment, things are not right. That is for sure. But let you not be the one to cry the loudest. Don't try to claim to be victims when you are villains as well. This is the truth. This is the truth. This is the truth. For me, I'm crying for my country. When I'm speaking here, I am not speaking for you, PND. I am not speaking for PF. I am crying for my country. Because certainly we can't continue like this. 
We need to move forward in terms of democracy. We need to do better. We can't continue like this. And that is my cry. When I see Vaneri Muti conducting, a, you know, parliament in a manner that is not defeating, you know, our democratic standards. I mean, I don't cry for PF. I don't cry for PF. I don't cry for UPND. I cry for my country. For me tonight, I am standing for my country. If there is anything that I want to be done, I want that to be done for my country, not for PF. Not for Vaed Galungu, especially Vaed Galungu. Because Vaed Galungu is a very selfish man. He got that power on a silver platter. But look what he has done to PF. Because of his selfishness, he has messed it up. And MPs, you are trying to show courage in parliament. You are trying to show courage against Neri Muti. You should have had that courage to face your Ed Galungu. You should have had that courage. You knew that what Ed Galungu is doing is wrong. You knew. But you didn't have the courage. But you want to stand courageously against Neri Muti. You are doing it wrongly, I can assure you. You are doing it wrongly. You are doing it wrongly. You can fight Neri Muti as much as you want. You can fight Neri Muti as much as you want. But you will not get restored as a strong party. You will not. Fighting Neri Muti will not restore you. Fighting Neri Muti will not restore PF. You are fighting a wrong person. You are fighting a wrong person. The person that you need to focus on by you, by, 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 by PF. Mungu mfuikisha wino wino san. Mungu mfuikisha wino wino san. The person that you need to focus your energy on is Mao san. That is the man that you need to, fo to, 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 to focus on. How are you going to undo what Mao san has done? That is what you need. Not Neri Muti. Not Neri Muti. Forget it. Not Neri Muti. Now you have found, you know, uh, impeachment. I mean, you know it will not succeed. But you will waste time debating, bombarding Neri Muti, bombarding Neri Muti, bombarding Neri Muti. You can say whatever you want about Neri Muti. Neri Muti is not the one that has robbed you of PF. Neri Muti is not the one that has robbed you of PF. You are following the wrong person. Follow the guy that has taken PF. Your concentration should be on Mao Sampa, not Neri Muti. I'm telling you, not that I'm supporting what Neri Muti is doing. I'm not supporting it. I want that 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 flow, that house to be you know to be democratic. I want debates to be nice. That's what I want. And. I don't agree with her. She's very also very emotional. I don't agree. But really, waging a war against Neri Muti is wrong. Waging a war against Neri Muti. That impeachment, you want you are throwing an impeachment. Yes, it is your privilege. You will throw it to the sec to the to the clerk. The clerk will bring it to, 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 what they, to whatever, to the speaker. At the end of the day, you will bring it before the floor of the house. You will, you will stand up to debate 14 minutes, 15 minutes. You will debate, dress down Neri Muti. You will say all sorts of things about Neri Muti. At the end of the day, you will have to vote. You don't have the threshold. You don't have the threshold. It will collapse. And when it collapses, after wasting all that time, Mao Sampa will still be holding on as president of PF. And in certain cases, he might even influence, because as leader of opposition, he may not have, you know, the, the numbers or the, the MPs behind him. But he has powers to influence the processes. Because is, is, is in agreement. You are strengthening the relationship. What you are doing, fighting with Neri Muti, you are strengthening the relationship between Mao Sampa and 
Mary Moot. That's what you are doing. You are strengthening that relationship. Yara Kosa. You are putting cement. You are putting uh, wires to make it strong. And don't forget, Nelly Muti as a speaker is very close to the president. Very close. Very, very close. Eh? Very, very close. To who? The judiciary. Very close. We can pretend all we want here to say, no, the judiciary, whatever, whatever. Those are human beings. I've said you, I've told you before. Those are human beings who can be pressured, who can be broken. Those are human beings. Those are human beings. So this fight that you are putting, you are targeting, uh, Neri Muti, it is, it is going to escalate into the executive into the presidency, it's going to escalate into the judiciary. And you will keep on fighting, 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 fighting until you are tired. Until you are exhausted. Until you are nothing. Until you are nothing. And they will fight you. They will not only fight you in parliament. They will fight you in other ways as well. In other ways as well, they will fight you. You need to be smart. You need to be smart. Don't use emotions. Be smart. What? How can you? How can you outwit? Outwit? Mao Samba. How can you? Mao Samba, nami chaye mingalato. How can you play back in Mingalato on Mao Samp? If you sit and think, you will definitely find a way. If you sit and think, you will definitely find a way. A political party is not like a company. A political party is a society. It can belong to anyone. So Mao Samp has gotten it. It's not that he has bought the shares. No. He's a member, and you have got many members. How can you galvanize yourself using members, using the PF constitution, and come up with something? How can you do that? Instead of looking at uh, impeaching Nelly Muti, maybe you should be considering impeaching uh, 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 Mao Samp. He's already there, he's president. Maybe start considering impeaching him. Why don't you look at, at that? You have got members. Why don't you look at impeaching uh, impeaching a uh, a uh, a uh, Mao Samp? Eh? Mao Samp hired people to make him president. Why can't you also hire people to remove him as president? Okay, fine, you are the president. But here is our constitution. Our constitution says say this. Pa 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 pa. You use the constitution. You use the members. You have the members. You have the members. Mao Sampa hired a few people. Even when you have got more members. How, why can't you be thinking in those lines? Why can't you be thinking in those lines? Than you going, uh, European Union, going to American embassy. Why, why, why are we so subservient? Why are we so colonized in our heads? Why do we always look at America and the Bazungus to be superior, to be the ones to come and, you know, sort out our problems? Why are we like this in Africa? Why are we like this? Why are we like this? Why do we always run to these people to sort out our problems? Then tomorrow when they come and they are telling us what to do, you say, no, they are imperialists. No, we are a sovereign state. You are a sovereign state. When you have problems, you rush to them. But tomorrow when they say something against you, or when they ask something of you, you start saying, no, we, we are a sovereign state. We are an independent country. We are not colonized. What hypocrisy is this? In our PF, isn't it just the other day when you were complaining against the, this in Twankan? Yeah? That ambassador, that, that, that British ambassador, you are complaining against him. 
because he said this government is doing well is respecting human whatever whatever you got upset you got upset but today you are going to them i mean why are we like this what is america going to do what will america do to haka in the ichirema what will america do to nerimut what do you think you think america is going to order to say you are nerimuti can you restore everything in parliament you think they will do that eh? And sometimes the today, today we should take time i'm telling you invest in thinking the biggest problem that we have in this country at many levels is that we are lazy to think we are lazy to engage our minds we like to work with emotions how is it going to help you? How is it going to help you? Sometimes sit back. Mao Sampaz hit you this one. Sit back. Strategize. Plan. Look for resources. When you execute Ndala, it works out. Not a man and can emulate the Mulevu Tau, Kamulevu, Kamuayoku, Mayoku, Mayoku, Mayoku. It will not help. Go ahead, present that uh, uh, impeachment, whatever, whatever. Go ahead. You talk and talk and talk and talk at the end of the day. Nelly Mutu will still be there. She will still be your speaker. She will still be your speaker. And she will even become more powerful. Because after surviving that impeachment, she will even be more powerful. She will be laughing at you. She will be laughing at you. Because she will treat you whichever way she wants. Are you going to run again to bring a motion of impeachment? So some of these things, you should be clinical, Dara. Very effective. If we do this, this is going to work. Not what you are doing here. Going around here, what, 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 what. No. No. Withdraw. All of you withdraw. Nawaed Galung, withdraw. Lock yourself up. Lock yourself up, I'm telling you. Lock yourself up. Look at your constitution. Look at what you can do. Do we have the money? Can who is going what lock yourself up? Stop all this nonsense. Stop it. You are wasting your time. Stop it. Stop whatever you are doing. Because all these things you are doing, they are not helping you. They are not helping you. Go back, withdraw. Sit in a meeting. Look at real solutions. Real solutions. Not if mule utauka, mule utauka, mule utauka. It is clearly showing you, showing that Mao Sampa has beaten you big time. That's what it's showing. It is showing that Mao Sampa has beaten you and you have no clue of how to get out. If you want, come and hire me. Come and hire me. But you need to pay me. Not if you want, come and hire me. Engage me. I can help you to think. I, I can help you to think. I can help you to think. I can help you to come up with a plan. But the resources must be in it. Not if you have a lot of people who are going to be able to do it. You can't get a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a Na le la le na le la So plan ba ne not if you mule start chan chan chan. Your impeachment mule and the ita iko ite na mano ita iko ite mo na sense. Fia chave chave mule ile tere la. Fia chave chave ta pano kwa muka ya muka wata muka sabaire muka sabaire eh iwe nadi muti eh chava na shani eh chava na shani eh chava na shani 
Fika pwile na po peni. Muka buwekila. Afta nga mapuisha. Nari muta kesa mnyevati. Iwe kampiongo kekale kunuma. Iwe mundu vile kekale kunuma. Iwe mtuwa nikane. E, mao sampa isa kuntanshi. Fishi muka chita. Impeachment ye na ito weka. Fishi muka chita. Hmm? Fishi muka chita. What are you going to do? Eh? Are you going to have the American troops to come and remove Nari muta? No. No. Eh? No. Kuma court mule wutu kira ye kriki tikriki Of course. The courts at the end of the day, they will pass judgment. I know. I know. At the end of the day, they will pass judgment. But when? <laughs> that is serious. When will that happen? Hmm? By now, I was hoping that my good friend, Uyun Tuanikanoi, by now, would have, he would have come out. Uyun Wakako, Uyun Walebepe Shefia Gas, Nishamurumbuleshina. Nishamurumbuleshina, but now Mumu Ishiva. My Rokutu Mwaisa Mbepe Shatiyo, Contempt. I was hoping that by now, you know, he would be out. But look, I'm a man siyale sensera. I'm a man siyale sensera. Before we know it, the guy would have saved the sentence. Eh? Naka sandawandi shadri kasende uyo. I'm a man siyale sensera. Vaya ingile kwa tibufi ka? Vaya ingile kwa tibufi. But I'm a man siyale ya. Now we are talking about serious criminal matters. Who is going to who is going to, 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 to give your civil matters or political rangos a preference that they should move fast? If criminal matters are taking this long, what about your civil matters? You know priority is given to criminal matters, not civil matters. So your matters bakula chita dijani, vaisa, kikiti, eh, ale lova koti chilifi. Ale lo shan shani mpaka na 2026 hika fika. Mao Samba will still be PF president. He will still be PF president. And he will just come and declare to say, ah, I'm not interested in standing. I'm going to work with, uh, with, with, with you PND. You will be nowhere. You will be nowhere. You will fail to have candidates. Na imwewe ni mwema MPs, whatever, whatever. Mao Samba will say, I'm not adopting you. Already Mao Sampama numbers yambok fula. Uyo Anton, Anton Mumba. He has joined him. Ama numbers na yambok fula ka? Have you seen ama numbers yambok fula? Kuma MPs. Before you know it, we will have more MPs na, na Mao Samba. So be very careful. Be very careful. Think properly. What is it that you can do to redeem yourself? What is it that you can do to redeem yourself? As it is, Efo mule chita, tapale yoko fidea wane, fighting Neri Muti is useless, I'm not defending wa Neri Muti, nge mea fefishinka. Neri Muti na muka chiteshani, muka chiteshani, Mao Sampa will remain president. Will remain president. Na Neri Muti wine, will remain speaker. Will remain speaker. But then, what would you have achieved? Don't fear to you know, to appear to be humble. Don't fear to appear to be foolish. That is what some of us, you know, are, are able to do. When we see that, if you know, some of us, we are able to humble ourselves. We are able to humble ourselves and recognize to say, ah, uh ah, -uh, nothing we pay into up. Because King Kiri King Kiri, hey, 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 and I've been saying this even to some of the opposition political leaders. Mweba kwatama cases guma court. Aba political cases. I can assure you, sometimes it's useless to continue. Whoa, 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 whoa. Take a nyafi. Baka kuka kapofi. Baka kuka kapofi. Baka kuka kapofi. So sometimes... Some of these things, you know, you know, sometimes it's just okay. You just humble yourself. In a, you can laugh at me, whatever, whatever, but I'm telling you, you can laugh at me, you can say whatever, hey, Mushani Nawari, hey, you have joined UPND. I haven't joined UPND. I haven't joined UPND. I'm here. I haven't joined UPND. But I've just seen that these are not times eh, to continue fighting Navayui. 
kilikiti kili kilikiti bamba nokula toloka maget watolo abantu baisa bakonkera mu nganda balevo kukuipaya bawera bakwikatira pono kukuikatira pa bakulonga na kukulonga eh ela e vou ah you are tired because of you hey you are a coward there is that there, there is a lady here eh there is a lady who was telling me ah tired you are a coward hey eh mayo you mayo you ule wa ina ti am a coward a want to act ruka ina na tina balanji palero baka pokola bali kwisa mbuto kile ko bali kuli baka pokola baka pokola wanji katabandonga Baka pokola wanji kata wandonga ndia kutukira kuli waka pokola Bambe ati, ati mambala eh? Ulewe pobufi Ulewe pobufi Nama kamero po yaki Nama mamono noku wa mwono Ati ulewe pobufi eh? You read the times Read the times Read the times Let haka inde ichile madid Let him lead Let him lead Let him lead It's okay let him, let him do. Let him enjoy as well. Tien tumuleke, tien tumuleke. Tien tumuleke, tien tumuleke. No tukula alwana, kiri kiti, kiri kiti, kiri kiti. Let us even help him. Let us, let us, let us even help him. If he can succeed, if, he can, if we can help him here and there, it's okay. Then we continue fighting, kiri kiti, kiri kiti. It will take us nowhere. It will take us nowhere. So, ine... Emo mfimuwe nene, ilili ya shiriri kupari ya menti. No kwenda enda kwa kuma nanikane, kuya kuma, kuma nituwa nikane. I don't agree with going kuma to these embassies. I don't agree. Me, I don't want, you know, America and the western countries to be, to be influencing us. We can rule ourselves. We are independent nations. We can resolve our issues. This nonsense of going to uh, the American embassy to whatever, whatever, should end. We should be able to resolve these issues. Resolve the issues we have with Nerimut. And the impeachment, I can assure you, it is like hitting a snake on the, on the tail. It will turn back and bite you big time. That is not the way. Then you have... You can go ahead. You will debate, you will debate, you will debate. Be, and even before you debate, they will tell you first go and sit proper. Go and dress proper. Then you come and debate. Because if you don't even dress properly, some of you will not even debate de, debated. Naka new naka new 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 terminology. I will name you. I will name you. She will name half of you. Before you start debating, she will name half of you. Before you even debate it, she will suspend all of you. Because she can actually suspend all of you. She can suspend all of you. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Eh? Others are thinking, no, no, no. If the, uh, if the opposition, they do what, they do what. All they need is a, a simple a quorum. That's all they need. That's what they need. And quorum is only 53 members. 53 members. How many members does UPND have? 85. 85. At the moment, UPND has 85 members of parliament. You think they can fail to, to, to make a quorum? They will make a quorum. Eh? They are comfortable. They are comfortable. These people they are comfortable to run that parliament without all of you. All of you, Banan Kaneva PF members, you can go out. They will still run. There will be no constitutional crisis. I saw somebody saying, hey, there will be a constitutional crisis. There will be no constitutional crisis. There will be no constitutional crisis. They can get rid all of, of all of you and they can go and buy people and rig the elections and they win the elections and they will come back to parliament. So, Vane, approach this issue with a sober mind. Sober mind. Because I'm saying this. Because I know a lot of you are not happy with what I'm saying. A lot of you are not happy. But what I'm telling you is the bitter truth. Is the bitter truth. And if you are, if you are above board, you should even be able to say, Tell him, 
Maybe good na mi pancha kwa man. Not even to to hate me because na mu pata pa. Eh, hey, tadi, eh, hey, mu lefwa nde mi be po bufi. Eh, hey, neri muti wala mu chita dina nken. Efo mu lefwa. Tafi ya kachiti ke. Mu lefwa nde mi be po bufi. Eh, hey, vachi ya kwa Amerika ni mba sile ilo. Eh, hey, vali mwana na, na president wa kujeman. What is he going to do? What is he going to do? Me, I'm telling you the bitter truth. Hey, hey, you're not the party of Alungu. Hey, you're not the Alungu. Chachi, ne? Alungu is selfish. Alungu is selfish. Alungu is a coward. And at the moment, if there is anything that Alungu should do, is come out and look for resources because you need resources. You need resources to counter Mao Samba. And the issue of resources is actually one weakness that Mao Sampa has. If you can mobilize yourself with resources, you can look attractive. Because this is a fact. This is, this is, this is a fact. Eh? This is a fact. If you are not careful, if you don't bring in resources, Mao Sampa will look attractive. But you have a ground, Mao Sampa has got a big task to look after them. He has to feed all those people. He has to feed all those people. For how long is he going to feed them? For how long? Eh? For how long is he going to feed them? But if you have a PF, a PF if you can look for resources that you can look after these people, these people will come, will start running back to you. They will start running back to you they will come and review things. There will be your witnesses in court. There will be your witnesses in court. But if you don't, if you continue at your Meanwhile, I will make a $400,000. Meanwhile, I If you continue with that trajectory, forget it. Forget it. Be real, be real, and I'm telling you the bitter truth as it is. Neri Muti is not your issue. Mao Sampa is your issue. Fight Mao Sampa. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.